Hey everyone, the Game Chief here. Today I'm going to be going over installing and configuring the car cover mod. That way we can go from this huge mess here to this set of nice clean covered cars. Alrighty, and I'm sure you guys all have heard of the car cover mod. It's a super simple mod that allows you to take your car here and then put a cover on it um, so that way it's covered by a tarp or something like that. And the nice thing is it stores, you know, all your fuel, damage, inventory, and all that. And it actually gets rid of the physical car off the server. So this is really good for optimizing server performance because then you don't have the physics of a car sitting there. It's just a static object that can't move or anything like that. So it's really helpful and also allows people to, you know, hide it in the environment, stuff like that. So you can have stuff sort of hidden instead of being super obvious. Now that we've gone over a very brief overview of kind of why you may want this mod, Let's go ahead and get it on our server. So I'm gonna go ahead and remote into our server here. And I'm gonna go open up my browser. And I am using Omega Manager, you don't have to, you can use anything else. I'm just gonna go ahead and go into the overview here. And then we're gonna to go to mod configuration. And we have a bunch of other mods here, we're just gonna go ahead and add on here. Search for our car cover. And we can see it's this one with 782,000 subscriptions. We'll go ahead and add that. This can be installed on the bottom, that's perfectly fine. It doesn't need any special order. You do want this to be client slash server side, so both of them, so you'll leave this here. You won't change it, because it needs to be run on both sides. We'll go and save changes. And we'll go home here. And then you may see right here saying install untracked mods. If it says that, go ahead and click on it and let it pull it down. Since I've already installed it to my test server here, it doesn't require me to do it. And then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna shut down and restart the server so it can apply that change there. As you can see, it says unapplied configuration, and it will go ahead and download the mod and move it into our server folder. And if we look at the workshop page here and look around, you can see this is supported with a bunch of other mods like the locking state of the car with trader keys, much car key, um, car lock for trader plus, and expansion and all that. That's built in support. And there's an additional add on for the expansion mod support. So you'd want to include this if you were running expansion, so that way it can support all the different things there. So it supports these mods um, natively, like much car key and car lock trader plus. However, if you're running expansion, you'll want to get the secondary mod and just throw it on the bottom. So if we quickly glance over here, and if you're running expansion, you would go ahead and add this and you'd add it under the car cover. We're not doing that, so we're going to keep that removed. And now that our server's restarted, we can verify that the mod has been added as it's shown in here, and we can check our files. And we use server one for all these videos here, or server zero, not one. And if we look in here, we can see at car cover has been downloaded. If you're not using a Meg manager, of course, you can just subscribe to this on the workshop and copy it over from your own computer. And then if we look into our keys folder, Omega Manager will automatically copy over the car key here. And again, if you weren't using Omega Manager, you just have to copy this Hunter key over. And the first thing we're going to need to handle is the types.xml file that we're provided. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and have a look at it. And this has a couple different things. So it has the camo net winner, the civil one, and then the desert one. So you have those three ones. Those are the actual physical coverings that you can get in your inventory. And then those are used to deploy. And then here's all the different cover class names. So of course, we're going to need to modify our types to add this stuff in here. So that way these items don't despawn. So you don't want, you know, the camo nets in your inventory just despawning or they'd be placed on the ground if they would despawn. And then obviously you don't want your covered vehicles to be disappearing. So we got to make sure these are included. I'm going to go ahead and open up my preferred text editor, Adam, and I'm just going to go ahead and get into the folder here. So we're in Daisy server zero and MP missions. And then we find the mission we're using. I'm using Chinaris plus. So I'm going to go here for using a different one. You'll go in there. And then to make things a bit more readable, I'm going to actually make this types file its own file. So I'm not going to copy it into my main one. So if we go into DB and then you can have types, you don't want this to get too crowded. So what you can do instead is just make it its own separate file, which I've done. As you can see, we have our custom ones here from all the different mods. So I'm going to go ahead and open up our CFG economy core file here. And you can see this is how all of our different custom ones have been added, just a new CE folder being specified. 
So I'm going to go ahead and copy this over. And I'm just copying the previous entry. I do have a whole entire video on how the custom types work in order to kind of split them so you can make um, a special types file for each mod, which makes it a lot easier to keep track of everything. And then this car cover, if I could type. So it's going to be car cover types.xml. And then if we go into here to our custom types, I'm going to create a new folder here to match. Name that car cover. I'm going to save this file. And then for car cover, we actually do not have a CFG spawnable type, so I'm going to get rid of that line. We just have a types XML. And I'm going to go ahead and copy this types XML provided by the mod offer. We're going to go in our MP missions, our Chinaris Plus. We're going to go into our custom types that we made, car cover. We're going to paste this in here. And that's all we have to do. This is all pre made and perfect to what we need. If you did not want to go ahead and do this, if you just want to put in your regular types, you would copy everything in between the types tag here. So let me open this in the editor so it's a little easier to see. So this is the types provided by them. Um, you take everything after this types here. So all these different types, you'd go down, all the way down. It's a pretty big file, so you can see why you wouldn't want to put this all into one main file for all your different mods. And then I would copy this entire section, excluding the lash slash types there. And then we could go into here, back to our MP missions, all the way down here to DB and then types XML. And just throw it somewhere in here after the first types and before the last types and not, you know, in the middle of a different object. Like I said, it can get pretty messy if you do that. So that's why I prefer to go ahead and separate them into their own files. And we can close this and we can go ahead and close some of these other folders so they're not open. We'll keep this one open though, the types XML from there for our custom types for car cover. And then next we're gonna go ahead and need to update our trader file because we need to be able to buy the um, different camo nets and stuff like that so we can actually cover these cars. So I'm gonna go into our profile folder. In this case, this is a little farther down in the profiles folder. This could be named server name. It could be profiles. It can be a bunch of different things. If you're using a mega manager, it's gonna be profiles though. Or other times it may be called config on other providers. And we'll go into our trader, our trader config. And then I'm just gonna search vehicle. And then we have our vehicle trader here. And you have category vehicle, vehicle parts. I'm gonna go ahead and add this as a vehicle part. Um, you can make your own category as well. So I'm gonna go into types here. We only want to make three these three items for sale, the camo net, um, all these camo nets, these three. These are all the objects used um, for the actual uh, object car. You don't want to use these. These are just here so they don't despawn on you when covered. And I'm just going to paste those in, do some quick formatting. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. So you could just straight copy this from a line below, but we'll put an asterisk there because it's not a vehicle or anything like that. And a price, we're gonna make it a thousand to buy and then 100 to sell. And then if we look there, that's perfect. And then if you really wanted to make this its own category, you could do that as well. I'm just gonna copy this top line here because right now we're looking at all the different uh, vehicle parts and I just threw it at the top there. Instead, if you really want to, we can scroll down here and then say you wanted it um, before the keys, we'll do that. I'll paste that in there and I'm just gonna do some formatting, make it look a little better, vehicle covers. And then that will work. And the way we have the setup, it'll be its own category and it will also be up here in the vehicle parts section. You don't need two of them, um, but just showing you can do it either way. And if we go in here, we're gonna go ahead and just have a look in our server folder. So our profiles here, you can see it creates a car cover file here, and then you're gonna see a log. So this is gonna go ahead and see that it found the configuration file. It's gonna load the existing configuration of the config and call it a day. This is also gonna tell you when people cover and uncover cars. So that's very useful to kind of keep track of what's going on. 
And then we have our simple config file here. And this just kind of covers um, these all vehicles are going to use this type of cover. So that's just what it's going to look like. Um, so that way you don't have, you know, like a massive truck. And then when you cover it, it looks like a, you know, tiny car. So these are all, con you know, set up to match the correct vehicles to the correct uh, cover model. There's nothing you really need to change in here unless you want to adjust an offset, but there's no reason you should need to. And you can see there's expansion vehicles in here, even helicopters and stuff like that. So you can totally use this on helicopters as well. And if you wanted to disable it um, for a particular vehicle, so say only the white Jeep you didn't want it to work on, you could just delete this line. And if say, you know, all these sky Jeeps you didn't want to work on, we can just delete this little section here. Make sure that we're staying within the same blocks and do that. And then you no longer be able to cover it. And if someone tries, it gives you an error message saying it's not supported or cannot be covered. I'm gonna go ahead and close that and I'm not gonna save those changes. One thing about the car cover mod is it does have some pretty good mod support here. Um, so it covers a lot of the major vehicle mods and stuff like that. And there are ways to add your own support for vehicles that aren't covered. And if you guys are interested in that, and I can see about making a video on that because it's not too hard to do. And now that we've kind of gone over everything, we did make our changes to the trader. We're gonna go ahead and restart this one more time. And then we'll go ahead and hop in, make sure everything's working as we would expect it to. And now that we are in game, we are at our trader over here. As you can see, we got the Shade Tech from one of the other videos, along with all the ATMs and the different beverage machines um, for the traders. I went ahead and got some money out. We're going to go ahead and go over here. And we're going to go ahead and purchase a vehicle. So we have that now. And then if we go to vehicle parts, you can see we have all the different uh, nettings and tarps and stuff like that. So those three there. And we now have our own category here for it as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and buy this top one here. And then uh, I don't actually have room to carry it, so we'll get that in a second. I'm gonna grab the key here. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock this. Just gonna shove this in the car for now and we'll go ahead and exit the trader and go ahead and try putting this down somewhere Alrighty, and here we are i got the car just kind of parked next to this house in the middle of the open probably not the best spot to do this you know if you want it not to be seen but it works so we're going to go and open this up and we're going to go ahead and before we actually grab this, uh, like I said, it does save, you know, the fuel damage contents of everything in here. So just to demonstrate that, I'm just going to put these bolts that I have in here. And then I'm going to go ahead and get this out real fast. And we'll go ahead and just put this on the ground here. And just a reminder, we do have those bullets in there. And I'm going to go ahead and lock this since it does save lock status, fuel damage, all that. So it's locked. And then of course now I can't get in here or anything like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up into my hands. And then when I look at this, I'll be able to cover, so I'll hold. And there we go, we have a covered car now. And then we have the option to uncover it. So we'll go ahead and do that. It's important to go ahead and keep in mind that everyone can do this, so you don't want to just have this in the middle of nowhere, but this can be helpful um, for server owners to mandate people cover cars or, you know, for people who just don't want it to, the chance of on server restart their car going flying into the air. So it can be really useful. I'm just going to go ahead and walk back over here to the trunk. I'm going to open it up. Oh, actually, I need to unlock it first, so let me put this down. So as you can see, it saved the lock status, of course. We take this over here, open that up, and then we can see our bullets just saved as well. We'll drop that back in there, and that shows that kind of everything seems to be working. And I think that about covers it. We kind of went over the basics of why you may want to mod, how to go ahead and get it downloaded and installed, and traders, types, and all that all set up. If you have any questions, of course, you can always leave a comment below or join the Discord server, which is always linked in the description. There is a support chat there where myself and others kind of jump in occasionally, try to help sort out issues. And if you have any video suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below, and that's about it. Have a good one.